Good morning everyone, how are you today? It is Monday the 5th of March, I am filming this before I go to work so I'm not going to dawdle on certain points, I'm just gonna film right to the point. Sorry this is random, the light is best in the bedroom in the morning and I'm really pale because it's really grey outside um, and I have fluorescent lights on me just to help the mood. Wet towel on the door and everything just, you know, why not? I sort of had a snow weekend. Well, not I had a snow weekend. England had a blizzard weekend. So I had an inside weekend where I just sort of sat in PJs and only went outside when necessary. I've been thinking about doing this series for a while because on some of my older videos, people comment and ask me certain questions that I feel I can't answer on comments because it's too much information I would have to put or it's just too complicated an answer. Most recently, uh, a user commented, um, can you tell us what it was like moving to a different country? So I was like, you know what, I want to take the plunge and start this series of adulting with Zoe. Now I want to try and be really fancy and have adulting with Zoe come up right here, but I'm not very good with graphics on videos, so I might just have just been waving my hand just there. Today I'm going to discuss what it's like to move country. It's going to be like an advice piece, a sharing experiences piece, you know. Whatever, so if there's ever a time where you want to question me, I do have a couple of questions already lined up that people have been asking, um, but if there's ever a time you want to question me, please put it in the comments below. I would love to sort of hear from you. You can see now I am at a, a nice angle, which means I'm not sitting on the floor, I'm sitting on a bed, which means I have a tripod, I am invested in a tripod. Way. How to move abroad. I finished university and I started saving up money. I had the drive, I had the passion, but I lacked the push. The only thing I would say is find your drive, find your motivation, but you need to find your push. When you're moving abroad, it's such a big, 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 big decision. Um, and it's scary because you're leaving your family, you're leaving your friends, you're leaving your culture, you're leaving everything you know to go to a completely new place. For some people, they might not speak the same language um, and it's just, it's tough. And if you don't have someone there, it's even worse, but it's even more exciting, I guess. When you're a student, it doesn't make as much of a difference because you're surrounded by students. But I was moving here as an adult, which makes a huge difference because you have to find a job, you have to get your NI number, so national insurance number sorted. You have to get a bank sorted, which, oh my God, in the UK, if you're a foreigner, watch out people getting a bank account is so 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 hard and from the bottom of my heart if you are moving to the uk i wish you all the luck because they are so bureaucratic about it so you have to have just yeah i mean i totally get it they're trying to be safe and they're trying to keep their country safe from fraudulent accounts being opened but then, you know, uh, once I went into a bank and the woman asked me, is Malta even in the EU, EU, in the European Union, while flipping through my passport? So I was like, cool. <laughs> Moving on. My advice, find your push, sort your life out. Because for me, it was a sort of saving up, saving up, saving up, saving up to the point where I just said, I went into my boss's office and went, I quit. And then I worked my two weeks notice and then I was on a plane. That That is how it worked for me. It might not be like that for everyone else because I came here and I sort of bummed uh, in my boyfriend's house and his lovely friends who sort of let me stay there for four weeks. I found a job which was fine, uh, far away. I sort of took anything at the time. It was a, a 9 to 5 job, but obviously I had to, it was really far, so I had to travel for an hour and a half, going and coming, which was very difficult for the first eight months. Um, so my advice, again, would be maybe find the job before you move. Um, I sort of just up and went, um, which works for some, doesn't work for everyone. So when moving abroad, you need to feel comfortable in that you are ready to take this step. It's a big step. 
don't worry if it's not for you or don't worry if you feel like it might take you a few more years to get there it's not for everyone people love to stay in the country they were born in which is fantastic um but for me it was a case of not wanting to stay in the country i was born in because i just felt like there were more opportunities for me elsewhere especially especially theatrically that's it guys that is the end of the first adulting with zoe and um, if you have any questions please put them below or topics you want me to discuss um as sort of a nutshell all my all i want to say is moving to the uk can be really hard because um especially now with brexit it's not the easiest topic to discuss with people it's quite awkward you can you can see people especially if you're european obviously this is coming from my own experience especially if you know you're talking to the older generation and i don't want to you know make generalizations but it's it's a touchy topic to discuss and there are times where you may feel unwanted uh, by people in society because of immigration issues um, currently in the UK. All I can say is if you really want to be here, if you really want to take that leap and move to the UK or move to Amsterdam or move to Italy or move to Budapest, whatever, wherever, just be mindful that you're stepping into another culture and they just don't understand your culture because they would never have lived around your culture so it's important because at the end of the day you need to stick to who you are like i'm still the same zoe obviously i've matured i now like rent a house and own furniture so i'm not the exact same i was when i left malta but i'm the same person inside same values same thoughts and beliefs but um I just know when and where to say them because at the end of the day I've moved here, I've come to this country so I need to respect the country I'm in. I have rambled on for 12 minutes now, it is 7.59, I really need to go to work. Thank you very much for watching, I love you all very much, comment below with any questions you have, subscribe if you like these videos and want to see them regularly because I will be putting up a segment every week now um, with my lovely tripod. <laughs> have a lovely 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 week, thank you very much. Bye. My neighbor in the car park. Wait. <laughs> Just seeing me looking at a camera. Um, I'm really sniffly. I'm so sorry.